So in this lecture, we're just going to go over the playback playback buttons in timeline just to see how they work. And then I'm just going to give you a challenge. So this is going to be a very quick lecture. So if we go into Blender, we've got the animation scene that I created from my last lecture. And basically, we've got our playback buttons down here. We have the play button which will play our animation. Notice how once it reaches the end of 250 frames, which is our set limit, it goes back to the start. We can press this key to jump to the first frame of the animation, and we can press this key to jump to the final frame of the animation. We can play, obviously using the play button, and it transforms into a pause button so that we can stop whenever. We can press the back button to play the animation in reverse. In addition, we have keyframe jumps. These aren't fast forwards, these are keyframe jumps. So by pressing this one, for example, we jump to the next registered keyframe. So we can go forward to each keyframe and using this button, we can go back. Simple as, guys. Also, as a bonus note, you can tell what keyframe you're on by looking at this value here. Thanks guys, and we have another challenge for you. So, the challenge this time, if you haven't done this already, I would like you to model a car or any vehicle, and then I would like you to create an animation with your vehicle. It doesn't have to be brilliant, so it doesn't have to be like, oh, the wheels are actually moving. You don't have to do that at this point. You can if you want to, if you feel confident enough. But just do an animation where the car is actually moving across the blender grid. Do that guys and I will see you next time.